Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Courtney and I share this YouTube channel with my twin sister Ashley. She uploads on Thursdays and I upload on Saturdays. We both upload at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So today's video I have for you is my seed starting. Now I started this pretty late which is not unusual for me um, especially because I had a scare last year of losing my baby seedling starters early because we had a fluke month of really warm weather and then it got really cold again and I guess that's what happens when you live in a 6b zone or northeast mm, now I gotta go through and see what ones I want to use this year I've never grown potatoes or onions I accidentally bought another thing of bleeding hearts I thought the ones for some reason the ones in my pots died like years ago but they don't they come back every year so i don't know what i was thinking so i have to figure out where i'm gonna put these so i'm gonna show you guys the pile of open seeds that i used last year so these ones that i'm showing you like i just said are the ones that i used last year but i ended up losing them all to like i said earlier a cold spurt we went through well, it went ba basically, it went back to being northeast, you know what I mean? So I was just showing you guys what I had lost last year. I do go through and organize it from flowers and then into veggies and fruits that I want to plant. But first, I go through, like I said, and organize it. And then I kind of take down what I will be planting later on in the season to what I'm planting now and to what I just don't want to plant at all this year. There is a few new things for me that I'm doing this year. Actually, quite a few new things that I'm doing this year and I wanted to try out. So hopefully you guys is still enjoyed this video. I know it's not our usual um, stuff that we record for you guys and I hope you still like it and enjoy it. I do like to input my gardening here in our cleaning videos so in the summertime you will see cleaning and gardening from me on this channel and hopefully you guys don't mind the background noise I didn't notice at the time all right now I'm gonna go through and actually see what I want to plant um, as in fruits and veggies and flowers this year we are going to extend the garden just a little bit um you will see that in a video i don't know if it'll be in this video or another video so make sure you stay tuned to see that okay i know for sure i want these sunflowers for sure they worked really good and they were really p pretty and tall but I just want to stress again, I am very sorry about the background no noise. I do live in the city, so it's more of, uh, it's not country. So yeah, I am so sorry. You do hear the dog and construction, not throughout the whole entire video, but throughout most of the part um, outdoors. It was pretty chilly this, year, this day. I went outside, it wasn't too bad. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it just got really cold and the wind was going crazy. And I ended up deciding to start my seedlings indoors, which I usually end up doing anyways. But I just really wanted to stress that I am so sorry about that. So right now, what I'm doing is seeing what I have for flowers. I want a ton of flowers in on my property this year. I want to be able to make bouquets out of them. And if family members want some, they can have some just to have in their house to freshen up their homes. I do know for sure when I was going into this that I definitely wanted to do sunflowers and nasturtiums and zinnias. Let me know what's your favorite flowers to have on your property. Okay. This is going to be hard. This is a I'm not doing it this year or I will be make more plants later on. Starters later on in, in the summer months. My only problem is picking what kind of green beans I want and cucumbers I want. Because I have a lot of those and I'm really trying to figure out which, which variety I like of the green beans. Well, not just me, my family as well. But I also want to have enough that I can grow it and freeze it to last into the winter, um, hopefully through the winter. So basically like a year's worth. Um, I, do I have enough seeds for that with, with the amount of packets I have here? Yes, I do. Um, so I might do them all. I can always do them in stages too. But, uh, or 
if I do them in stages, I can figure out which variety variety I like best of these. I know the ones that I had last year, I had to store by um, starts because we had a really good warm, like it was like a month we were so warm and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start my starters early, like my seedlings early. And then out of nowhere we had dropped down for like, a, yeah, for one night and it killed 98% of my seed starters and I was devastated but I went and picked up some from the store you guys you can garden without even doing it with seedlings you can go straight to a nursery or Lowe's Walmart Home Depot whatever and get their starters there's nothing wrong with that I've done it a million times um, but I just I get the satisfaction out of being like I started that from seed and it's growing because of that um, yeah once I can Pare, pare down a lot of things. I will show you exactly what I'm going to be at least seed starting today. So I wanted to tell you guys this right here is just the flowers that I want to do this year. And then I think I'm going to do just about I am going to do all of them but I don't know if I'm going to do the ones that have multiple packets if I'm going to do multiple packets of that like I love nasturtiums I love 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 the zinnias I've never done sweet peas marigolds annual cut flowers which is so pretty um actually I'll show you guys so this is the sweet pea aren't those pretty I've never done those these are the zinnias I got the mixed color ones I think they're all mixed colors oh I also got uh, giant cactus mixed ones as well so they look a little different I like to me I like the pom-pom look better than like the scattered one but I still think they're really pretty and I don't mind it but if I had to pick a favorite I would definitely go with the more fuller rounder ones you do get ones I don't know if you guys be able to tell you'll get ones that are more of like the single layers here those are still pretty too but I love the pom-pom look ones so like something like this, like I have two of the lily put mixed colors and I have two of the giant cactus mixed colors. So I'm going to do probably the both of each one or if I end up running out for some reason, I'm going to do just one of each. I also have marigold French dwarf double mix here and I have petite yellow. And then I also have cracker, cracker jacket mix color. So it's like it's got a light yellow, a darker yellow, and more of like an orangey yellow, like a pumpkin -y yellow. And then the nasturtiums. I love these. Um, this one's the dwarf Alaska mix colors. This one is the dwarf jewel mixed colors. Same thing. And the same thing as, no. This one, yeah, these are all the same. All three of these are the same, and then this one. Um, I know I have a different nasturtiums that I started last year, and I gotta find that seed packet. I think Matt, my significant other, moved it. Those ones were really pretty. Instead of the leaves just being, like the vines being just like this green color, they looked like a lily pad, and they looked really cool. So I gotta see if I can find that one. Um, these are the annual cut mix here. There's all sorts of flowers in this one, and I thought that one would just be really pretty just to have uh, cut up in my kitchen whenever they grow in I will do the same thing with these ones as well I will make centerpieces in my house with them and everything like that or if family wants to come over and take some flowers they're gonna be more than welcome to I'm hoping to have that many um, flowers here in my garden especially because when you have a vegetable garden you want to bring like pollinating plants over that's why like sunflowers and stuff like that do great for that um, the, the uh, zinnias do great for that and everything like that um, this is a moonflower white. Never planted those. I never planted these before, this or the marigolds as well. Um, never planted this. This is called the Columbine McKenna, Mi McKenna? McKenna's mixed flowers. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Matt really liked this one, so I told him I would do it for him. And my youngest. Oh, and this is another uh, cut flower, wildflower mix. 
And just so you guys know, I have no idea where I'm putting all of these. These are called Cosmos. I have two different types. It's called Cosmo Bright Lights Mixed Color. The, some of these remind me of like fall, but that's okay. I don't care. They're still bright and beautiful and will look so good in my yard. And then this one's called Single Sensation Mixed Colors. This one kind of reminds me more of summer because of the pink and the white. Never planted these. I've never paint, uh, paint, painted. I never planted pansies before. These are called Swiss Giants. And these remind me of Alice in Wonderland. I think that's the movie that they're in where the flowers talk and stuff and they're walking through it. I think it was Alice in Wonderland. If I'm wrong, let me know. Of course, I have some sunflowers. I grew these, this variety last year. It's called the Mammoth Russian. These work really, really, really good. Um, I literally threw these in the ground and they were eaten quite a few times, but then they ended up sprouting up and being, one was at, at least eight feet tall. Another one was at least almost eight feet tall and the rest were about um, like five, five feet. My shortest was about three, but that one didn't have a lot of sun. It still grew about three, four feet tall, so. I love, love, love sunflowers. They look so pretty in your garden. I've never, this is the same thing, but just from Dollar Tree, I think I got this from. I can't remember, or maybe, well, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure because this American Seeds is Dollar Tree, but this is the same thing as, as this one. But this one's called Evening Sun, and I absolutely love that the two-tone colors there. I think they're beautiful. I've never planted these. And these are called Sweet Williams. Tall double mix. Matt wanted these ones. And my youngest wanted it as well. Don't mind it. My dogs are play fighting in the background and sneezing. <laughs> and these, oh, I had snapdragons. I've never planted my own snapdragons. I've always purchased them. And I love them. And they're great pollinators. And they smell really, really good. They smell very sweet. I usually hang them over here on the fence in the buckets. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do that again this year and plant them in other spots, obviously, because they smell so good and sweet. And then these were, I don't even know if I want to even try to say this name. Hella Chrisms? Hell, I don't know. I might be wrong. These are called Tall Double Mixed Colors. So that's what I have for flowers. <laughs> Okay, so I have Blue Lake, Tender Green, Improved, Kentucky Wonder, Pull Type, Harvesters, and Contenders. And these are called uh, Tender Green Improved Bushes. It's a bush type. So, so I have three bushes and a pole. I've never done <clears throat> uh, a, a pole bean before. I've only done the bush ones, and if they've done great, um, but now that I know I only have one pole one, I want to try to do a pole one. So the pole one I'm going to do is Kentucky Wonder. Let me know if you like the Kentucky Wonders. I've never had these ones. I've only had the Blue Lake, and I love the Blue Lake. They're really, really good. So we have that for sure. I know for sure I'm going to do these uh, Blue Lake ones. I'm going to do that one. Plus it's open. Uh, what's this one? That's This is Blue Lake as well. So these are back up if I need more, or I can do more later on. Let's see, the Harvesters, let me know if you tried those. The Tender Greens, let me know if you tried that one. Uh, these are the same thing. And these are Contenders. I grew, I think I grew the, wait, I think I only one see this. I think that's what fell all in there was these ones. I might be wrong though. All right, so we're not gonna do that one. I'm gonna do, you're good for late planting and tolerant dry wet. Oh, I'll do that one later. That's good for late planting. So we'll do this one later on and we'll do these ones later on because this one only has two in it and that one only has one in it. So I'm going to do these three. So I'm going to go with the harvest harvesters, the Lake Bush 274 and the Kentucky Wonders. Okay, let's see. Cabbage. I'm definitely going to do a lot more cabbage. The cabbage came out so good last year. I planted these ones. They're the um, Copenhagen Market Early Cabbage. And then I also have Early Golden Acre. I've never had that one, but these for sure were good. Um, a compact, small, leaf variety of excellent quality. Head hardiness early. How many seeds do I have? Quite a lot of seeds in here. 
Um, 66 days. Hmm. Oh, this one's the same thing. All right, so I'll save. We know for sure we like that one. I'm going to save this one for later on. Plus, it helps me remember what I was growing then and be able to help label with things too. Broccoli. Okay, so I did broccoli the Seco, I think that's what it's called. And these did great last year, 48, uh, 48 days to harvest. They, these did so good, a lot of seeds in here. And then these are called the uh, Calabres. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that name. And seven. I'm gonna do these ones since it's open and save the Calabres or whatever for it later. Tomatoes. All right. We love tomatoes in it. Well, me and my oldest love tomatoes in this house. I have beef steak, red cherry, large fruited heir, uh, heirlooms, uh, Roma VF, large red cherry, and another beef steak. I definitely for sure want to grow a bunch of the Romas. I want to do. I wish I had more Roma. I'm going to have to go get more Roma seeds. I thought I had way more tomato seeds than this, but I guess not. I swear I did. I need to get my, uh, what are those called? The yellow ones, sun gold, sunny, some, what are they called? Sun somethings. Maybe they're called gold something. I don't know. But I know for sure I need to get those. So I'm going to be adding those in my garden. I just don't have them here. And I know I want to get um, like big Roma tomatoes. Yeah, I definitely want to get some more Romas in my sunny yellows. I also like the chocolates, chocolate stripe, chocolate something ones. Those are really good too. I'm going to do, hmm, yeah, I'm going to do the, Tomato, red cherry, large fruited heirloom. Just because I looked at these at the store, like you can tell the difference. Like they both say like large red cherry, but this one you can tell like it has a straight line down and it has a bunch of them on here. This one's more of like your regular, like larger cherry tomatoes, if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm actually gonna do these ones. Put those ones just in case if these don't work out. And then out of the beef steaks, let's see. I'm gonna do the back to the roots. I wanna say, I wanna say this is, I wanna say this is like Home Depot or something from like the kids' kit. I can't remember. I could be completely wrong on that. And I'm gonna save these ones for another time or if those don't germinate, I have more. We for sure wanna do watermelon. We did grow watermelon, not last year, but the year before that. And we picked it a one too early and one too late and that's how it went. I also want to do some type of cantaloupe, like a melon, like some type of melon for sure, like cantaloupe or something. Um, this is called a crimson sweet. These ones are the ones that grow really, really big. I wonder if it tells you a classic large watermelon with crisp wheat and dark red fruit. Fruit size, 15 to 25 pounds is, the, is how big these things get. Last year, I grew it next to my pumpkins. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I need to get pumpkin seeds. I don't know what I was thinking. The pumpkin grew way faster than the watermelon did, so it completely shaded out my watermelon plant. And this one's called Sugar Babies. I for sure wanna do the Sugar Babies. I heard um, if you want to for sure get a harvest of watermelons to definitely go for Sugar Babies. One, they're smaller and they produce a lot more than like your regular standard uh, watermelons. I've never planted carrots before, so I'm really kind of excited about this. Um, these are called the Danvers Half Longs. So they get about seven to seven and a half inches long. The flesh is bright orange, tender and sweet, excellent for table or freezing, which I like about that. Um, I do really want to get into canning and like freezing and stuff like that. Would love to get into all of that. Um, so how long can a 70 day harvest? So I've seen people literally just throw these into the ground and have complete success. And then I've seen some people actually start them as seedlings, like in, in like a paw, like one seed at a time. I honestly think what I'm gonna do is just, I think I'm really just gonna throw them in the ground and see how it goes. Like, 
it should do great honestly it really should here is some cauliflower i did not do cauliflower last year so i'm really excited to try to do cauli cauliflower it's called snowball x yeah so i'm really excited about that last year i grew the broccoli it wasn't like head broccoli it was more of like um individual like little tiny like sprout things like they look like little trees like you clip them off that way so and that was i think this this one which i thought was supposed to be head broccoli but it wasn't but i'm hoping my cabbage does really good i've never done it before and then I'm going to do um, squash, summer squash, golden zucchini. I, I hope this works out because I love yellow squash. I've never grown yellow squash. I have grown these. I've grown um, these, what are they called? They're like a type of squash. They're called summer crooknecks. I did not have much success last year growing with these they just weren't getting i think new enough nutrition or something the outer side was not changing to that lighter yellow color and they were very very thick in the inside and very little like edible in the inside if you know what i mean i don't know how to really explain it i'm not a gardener i just do what i want to do and how i want to do it and i really don't follow like spacing rules and honestly the only thing i really think i do follow just so I know for sure I'm gonna get something is what can be planted next to what. Okay, past two years, my cucumbers have done absolutely horrible. They just would grow green and, and yellow and the little prickery things were black on them and they just did not taste right at all. I think I had two out of the whole millions I picked that tasted okay. So I know for sure, oh wait, hold on, we're gonna back up. I'm gonna do, um, summer squash uh, zucchini elite I think did I tell you this one's golden zucchini so I for sure am growing these I actually cannot wait I love zucchini so all right so let's see I'm not this is called the straight eight eight this one's an heirloom heirloom variety and it's called market more this is the straight eight again this one's called a muncher. This one's called a market more and a muncher. Um, so I'm going to do the muncher and I'm going to do the market more. All right. I have never, you guys, I've never grown radishes and I want to do it. I have two different ones here. This one's called the uh, early scarlet globe. That was just a really, really pretty color. And then this one's called the Gourmet Blend. Should I do the fun ones first? No, I'm going to do the regular ones and then go with, see which ones I want. All right, it's bell peppers. I love bell peppers. And honestly, I think I might do all of these because I want enough peppers that I can freeze in the freezer to last a while. I have uh, sweet peppers, Grand Bell Mix. These ones look so cool. These are the California Wonders, 300 TMR, and another California Wonders. So I'm gonna put this one to the side, and I'm gonna do, definitely gonna do the California Wonders, and I'm gonna do these Grand Bell mixes as well, just because these will be fun to mix in. For sure doing all of these, I think I'm doing, let me see how many's in here. Yeah, I have more than enough. And the Grand Bell mix, I, those would just look so fun. Okay, I'm not doing, actually I'm lying. I'm not gonna do the lettuce that I did last year or the year before that, but I am gonna do um, iceberg lettuce cause that is scrumdiddlyumptious. And I'm gonna do Vivian romaine lettuce. We love romaine lettuce in this house, 65 days to harvest. So for sure doing that. And, oh, I forgot this, sorry. I'm also gonna do winter squash. Yummy, 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 my tummy. We're gonna do an herb garden garden this year. I've never done an herb garden before. So I'm gonna do cilantro is the name of it. We're gonna do basil, sweet Italian. I wanna try the lemon one. Everybody sm says it smells really good when you run your hands across it. I'm gonna also do some parsley. and some chives. 
We love chives in this house. And another thing of chives. I also, I think I want to get some more herbs in that, like thyme and rosemary and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be growing in this year's garden along with the five tubular seed potato starters. These are red Norland. And then these onions are the, uh, I have a hundred bulbs and they're yellow onions. Hmm. So maybe I won't. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to be starting. And I technically should have started some of this a while ago, like the tomatoes and the cabbage, and the lettuce and the peppers. Oh, I should have started this a long time ago. I probably will be maybe adding more, like for sure I want to do melons. I definitely want to do the yellow tomatoes. Well, um, sunny somethings or whatever they're called. I already have in my garden a blackberry bush and a raspberry bush and two blueberry bushes, which I have to move those two blueberry bushes. I can't have them where they are. I wasn't thinking straight when I planted them there, not thinking about, hey, you know, these uh, raspberry bushes and blackberry bushes are gonna be massive. So I definitely need to figure out if I'm gonna put them in a pot or I'm just gonna relocate them in the garden. I really don't know if I wanna go for a pot, but they're not huge blueberry bushes so I don't know I don't know but let's get into oh did I show you yeah I already showed you guys the seeds all right let's get into putting these bad boys in some potting mix I'm going in with the miracle grow kind it's so chilly out here too uh, all right let's start Okay guys, so as you can tell, we made it indoors. I was too cold to be outside any longer, plus the wind was throwing my seed packets everywhere. So I just put down a, uh, what's this thing? Easter table cover down on the counter just to keep the surface a little more cleaner. Yes, I still had a tiny little bit that I had to clean up on the floor, but it wasn't too bad or anything like that. But obviously we have started the whole seedling planting process. I am going in with some miracle Grow, And I do label, well not label, put on the screen to let you know what I am actually starting from seed on this video that you guys are seeing. Because I didn't, I decided honestly that some of them I am going to just direct seed and some of them I'm going to start seedlings. So I show you exactly what I started out with as planting you know what I mean hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say I'm not a gardener I I'm not a person to come to for tips or tricks or how to do this or how to do that I'm not that I am in the beginning 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 phases of gardening even though this is going to be my third year gardening and I've had pretty good success with it uh don't come over here thinking that I can give you answers for things because I am the last person that you want to come to for those types of things honestly you want to go for um what's her name she has a great channel becky from acre homestead she has a great channel on all of that and then there was another one that i watched what is her name oh goodness if i remember i'll put it up here on the screen i do not remember her name but uh, definitely check them out. They are great channels to watch for about just about anything. And they also recommend a lot of channels as well. If they don't have answers or they came up with an idea of something, they give credit where credit is due. So I love that about them. But anyways, let's get into planting all of these seeds into some miracle Grow and into some pots.
So if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I thought that I could just stick a sticky note on the side of the trays and they would stay and they would have everything labeled the way it is, yada, yada, yada. Well, let me tell you, that didn't even last two days on the side, not even an hour. And I thought if I just kept sticking them on, I'll be okay and I'll remember what they are. Then I went in with some popsicle sticks and the only popsicle sticks that I had on hand were ones that were color dyed. I know I shouldn't have went in with those, but that's what I had on hand. And I thought, hey, I know what everything is. I'll just look at the seed and we'll be good. Well, now that everything's growing, <laughs> I definitely did not label anything correctly. So I definitely need to get better at organizing my seeds and labeling what is what. I mean, I'll be able to tell more once they grow a little more but i can tell you right now i did a absolute horrible job with labeling well technically i should have started out with the popsicle sticks or some type of stick that you stick in these usually i have like white ones that you can write with sharpie on and i didn't have any of those left and like i said i just grabbed the first thing that i seen and used those so lesson learned do not use sticky notes Go in with like the ones you can stick into the dirt or you can do what Becky does. I love her channel from uh, Homestead and she uses duct tape on the side of her trays to label everything. So that's a tip for you guys, <laughs> even though I'm not one to give out tips or anything like that, but definitely something um, I should definitely have a hold of by now with gardening. Okay, so this is an overview of everything that I wanted to start starters with and I'm going to show you guys a clip here of when I thought the sticky note idea would work. I just left a little clip in there and I know some of you are going to be like, wait, why didn't you just refer back to this video and see, you know, what you did? Like I said, all of the sticky notes had fallen off and when I was trying to stick them back on and when Matt, my significant other, was trying to stick them back on, we weren't sticking them, I don't think, in the correct section that they needed to be in. And ignore the popsicle sticks when you see them later on when I did relabel them because I do show you guys an overview with the popsicle sticks because, like I said, they are some of those about, I don't know, 
30 of, not even 30 of them are correct. Oh, a few of them are correct because I knew I did the Romas in certain ones and certain bell peppers in certain ones. Um, but the, as far as all the square ones go, no lost cost. I have no idea except for the first tray of what I put in the rest of those other squares over there. Sorry for the background noise. That was my microwave. I'm cooking dinner and doing this voiceover at the same time so I can get it out in time for you guys. I am going to show you guys some other seeds that I have picked up since doing this video for you guys while well, recording this. I wanted to get some hot peppers. I de definitely didn't want those first ones, but it was a replacement from Walmart. I got the jalapenos. I got eggplant. I also got these cute uh, squash summer early white uh, pumpkins here. Some people call them patty pans or something like that. I wanted some squash, spaghetti squash, yummy in my tummy. I want tomatillos for making like salsa and stuff. And here is a cantaloupe. I'm so excited to start that. Here is butternut winter squash. I don't think the other one that I had was that. I might be wrong. Here's some cute little um, orange pumpkins. And here is some carving pumpkins. Now the white pumpkins and the little orange ones are for decorating for around the house and stuff. Here I wanted to show you guys I did end up planting some of my onions. I don't know how well they will do because I kind of just tossed in some fertilizer and threw them in. And this isn't the best type of dirt for them. And this was the nasturtiums that I was talking about earlier that I really, really, really liked. And I'm going to be planting those as well. Here's the stand that my fiance picked up from an apartment clean out that he did. And uh, this is supposed to be for your toilet. But he put in this shelf here at the bottom. So I had more spots to put some of my trays. And so far it's working out great. Knock on wood guys. Nothing has fallen over. No one's ran into it or anything like that. Because I did have it on a little table here. But it stuck out a little, wit a little far for our liking um the seedlings are a little bit bigger than what you guys see right here right now and some have already started but that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a little different than what we usually post but just wanted to give you guys a little insight of what i was growing in this year's garden make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content like this video and share it around it helps our channel grow bye guys